Hi everyone, I am Pratish Pandey for Education Show Series. Today I have come up with a new topic, Heat Part 1, Class 7 Sprint Series. So let's start this amazing video. So, the topics to be covered are heat, temperature, thermometers, clinic, clinical thermometer, then human body temperature, digital thermometer, laboratory thermometer, and maximum minimum thermometer. So, let's start. Okay, these are the topics that will be covered in part 2 of heat. Heat transfer, conduction, convection, sea breeze, land breeze, radiation and reasons to wear white clothes in summer and black clothes in winter. This all topics will be covered in the second part. So, please watch both parts. So, let's see what is heat on the board. So, here are chapter heat. Now, what is heat? Heat you can say is a burning object. For a fire, a fire, and what gives you warm? What makes you warm? And you know how what causes heat? What causes objects to get hot when they come near a flame? How heat works? How we can measure heat? And all these things we'll study. So first, let's see her heat. Now, what happens when you put an object here near the fire flame which produces heat which is a form of radiation we will learn later so this heat is this is this now here the closest particle what happens that it starts moving and it does to the same to other particles which i'll make you learn more and that causes the objects to heat up evenly after some time it will heat up evenly throughout the throughout the this iron piece so throughout this object that it will be heated so now heat is a measuring thing now because heat is we always have now you know about kinetic energy and potential energy so heat just excites our atoms and they move which causes other particles to move also and because in solid they're tightly packed and they moves others and that causes heat to spread heat transfer is some topic we learn so now let's see heat transfer okay so heat now what is heat heat you can you can say that it's a sensation which comes to us when you touch a hot object heat we can say hotness you see here this boiling and this is a sucker here so the, when this is boiling and this is sucking this air why it is boiling it's boiling because some heat is applied to this water which has turned into its vapor state which has caused this and here you can see the water boiling so how why is the water boiling because of certain heat is applied this heat is some kind of energy that is passed to an object from a hot source in a hot object the atoms of that object are constantly vibrating and when an object is come in contact with a hot object or a fire flame then that object's molecules start heating and they start shaking it up and then all the atoms in that line all the atoms in the object starts shaking so now let's proceed on is temperature so now what is, we learned about that heat and if an object is heated all the particles in that atom all the atoms here are excited atoms are excited they move Okay, so now have you ever wondered that an ice cube give in the fridge, freezer, coals get freezes and you can see that ice cream outside the between and in very summer it melts down. So why this thing happens? Heat now we learnt that it is just exciting the atoms which can cause it to warm up because as they do more they need more energy and energy is wasted, energy is released so that we feel it warm. So now what, how we can say that heat to measure heat and also how heat affects. So that is what temperature, the change in temperature or the change in heat of an object 
temperature effects in our daily life. For example, an ice cube melts because its temperature has decreased. More the hotter the temperature, more the object will melt or more it will be excited and more if a liquid it can also change its state. Also, metal if they are heated a lot they can change its size and plastic can melt. So these are things an ice cream melts in and ice cream for example melts in the summer in summer days outside and ice cube melts after some time or ice uh, water freezes into ice cubes when you keep in fridge okay so why this things happens they all have some kind of so because we have potential energy kinetic energy i've told you so that all causes uh, we all have some heat in us we all have some amount of heat in our body so that this change change in the heat and we call it change in temperature heat is the up temperature is the amount of heat in an object and also a way to measure heat so amount of heat in an object so temp we don't measure it we do measure it but using thermometers so here we can measure that suppose it is 99 degrees because it's melting under 100 degrees it becomes ice 99 degrees and it smell it started melting so its temperature is 99 degrees means somewhat kind of temperature heat it has it we can say some 99 degrees or okay, it's a mathematical formulas but we can see that 99 degrees celsius heat it has or the te its temperature is 99 degrees now you can see this when the ice cream melts then its temperature has or uh, decreased or means it has got more hotter so this ice condenses it condenses and also you can see that when this water turns into ice now temperature is it uh, decreased it means that temperature is relative proportional to heat temperature increase means it the object has more heat temperature decrease the object is colder so that now in, in the future what does it do temperature is cooled temperature is put down the temperature decreases the temperature decreases the heat it decreases which causes it to turn to solid state or freeze and you some important points that water boils on the uh, 100 degrees celsius and melts on 0 degrees celsius we'll learn later now let's see more about this and how to measure the temperature on the ppt heat we also we can say that during a fever when we get when our temperatures goes up we can we can say that our body temperature is up because that our body temperature has become has raised because as you know what why do we do cause illness so that cause our temperature too high as you can see this man uh, measuring his that is measuring his temperature temperature what is temperature so temperature is the measure of hotness and coldness of the object that can be relied upon its temperature the measure its measure a measure of the temperature means a measure of the hotness of a, or coldness of an object so you can see this man his temperature is 96.5 degrees as same way you can see this thermometer which is increasing now what is this kind of thermometer and what other kinds of thing i'll tell you first see this as you can see here this in this thermometer is showing high degree because it's in fire and low degree because it's near ice okay so now suppose this fire it's cooling it okay so fire is making it hotter so what will happen this some the atoms here will get excited and they will shake Oh, oh, oh. and the other if when you know in solids they are tightly packed they shake and shake and they shake others and how it goes on and you can see here they are excited and after some time when they are removed from fire then they cool down and may cool down more than their temperature average temperature so let's see more about these so temperature temperature can be measured into three kind of things three kind of ways we can see De celsius fahrenheit and kelvin these are just different ways uh, to write this temperature to express a temperature of an object so we can see that we can express the temperature of object in three ways let's study more about them okay so degree celsius 
डिग्री सेल्सियस इज डीड एट डॉट और डिग्री एंड सी सी फॉर सेल्सियस एंड यू कैन सी डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड विल रीड एस ट्वेंटी डिग्री सेल्सियस दिस इज द वे आर ऑन द वे ऑफ राइटिंग वे ऑफ दिस इज सेल्सियस एंड यू राइट द टेम्परेचर अब ऑफ दिस साइन दिस सेल्सियस साइन सेहन आइट इज डिनोटेड एज डिग्री एफ एंड इट कैन बी रिटर्न सच एज ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री एफ इफ सम बॉय टेम्परेचर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव अकॉर्डिंग टू देर सम नोमिकल वैल्यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस मच दिस कैलविन हैज एंड दिस सेल्सियस है दिस मच टेम्परेचर इट विल शोज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी कैलविन ट्वेंटी सेल्सियस एंड दैट टेम्परेचर कैन बी शोन इन टू थ्री डिफरेंट टर्म्स इट सेल्सियस फेरानाइट एंड कैलविन so fahrenheit if the body is certain of the certain temperature then according to there are some values we we will if the suppose the body temperature is 25 degree fahrenheit then we will read it as 25 degree fahrenheit and this kelvin it is denoted as k and it has some another set of another set of numericals in which will denote that this much temperature will be denoted by this kelvin for example 100 kelvin can be written like this and will be read as 100 kelvin let's proceed suppose you think that you can take your hand may see from your hand that if for some check the temperature that object is hot or object is cold then if it's so cold and how will you see that it is this much cold or oh ho oh, oh, and if it is more hot than ho oh, oh, oh. so does it i suppose no so now because you can take a experiment to see that your hand hand cannot be or your sense of touch cannot be that accurate you can take a uh, two three bowls and fill one with cold water one with warm water and one with the normal water so and put your both hands in one of each and then after some time put the hand both your hands in the normal water and this hand which you put in your ice cold water will say that is what is very hot and this this which you hand which you put in warm water will say say that this water is very cool then these are your both hands are cheating so no because it our hand can see according can sense according to the temperature which were earlier of normal we can check when it's normal temperature and then we can check but also it's not proper because if objects are too hot then they can burn you or they can cause your body temperature to fall or you can they can even cause you burns so please don't do that so how, how will you check the temperature of a object or you then we we'll co come to the thermometers thermometers are certain devices that have some liquids or most of like the clinical thermometer have some liquids laboratory ones while mercury while digital thermometer don't have one so just how they operate it's there they check the thermometer they check the temperature and this mercury rises according to the temperature of that object so we can see that how is the how the temperature is of how much pressure is of ours it does not say lie or or it cannot change according it cannot be in a we can say wrong belief it just tells you the right temperature you can use celsius thermometer and uh, digital thermometers but not laboratory thermometers we we'll learn more about these kind of thermometers later so here you can see a thermometer and they are the various signs and you can see at the 100 it's a celsius thermometer 100 degree celsius water will start boiling celsius thermometer it means it's clinical thermometer but here the measure this line this shows they are showing in the celsius celsius table but this thermometer is a clinical thermometer but this this kind of numericals this 100 degree celsius these are it's a cells in a celsius celsius top table chart you can say table celsius form so at 100 degree celsius water will boil and at 0 uh, degree celsius water will freeze and 20 degree is the normal room temperature you can see all this in the ppt or in the comment section below and also don't forget to subscribe okay now let's see different kind of thermometer clinical thermometer digital thermometer laboratory thermometer and maximum minimum thermometer so let's start different kinds have different uses clinical thermometer now have you seen this thermometer 
somewhere in hospitals or may you ask your mother out if you have some so now you see that this thermometer is a little plastic uh, of its glass on its top and little iron bulb at the sun at the end yeah and there are some numbers written on it it is on the celsius form these all you know it celsius is so this clinical thermometer it reads from 35 degrees celsius to 42 degrees celsius because now your average body temperature is 37 degrees and if it go it cannot go too low and it cannot go too above so this is just suitable for human body and it is thus prepared for human body temperature checking so you can say 94 degree Fahrenheit to 108 degree Fahrenheit or in Celsius value 35 degree Celsius to 42 degree Celsius. So now as you can see a long tilde shining shiny thing where a liquid like shining thread flows when you see your temperature. It's a clinical thermometer. It's mostly used in houses and always it's made only for human temperature checking. Reading a clinical thermometer and precautions at that time. First precaution is just wash it because if when you use a thermometer, when a person is ill and when he use and he does not, he takes a mouth and it keeps his and not washes it and then you also put it, then you may not have fever but you can catch fever because that infection is on that thermometer. So you should wash that bulb frequently before and after use. Hold it definitely, hold it tightly and give it a few jerks till that, that mercury thread goes below the 35 degree scale. Place the bulb and thermometer under your tongue or you can see here in the armpit. Here wait for one minute and take out the thermometer and check it. And you can see a te th temperature and it, ha it is divided into some figures and when you will see for example 35 and 36 then uh, and there are 10 columns then you can see you can you can take on your own that the one line can say 35.1 okay so now also one more important thing that it should not be heated or thrown somewhere because it has a toxic component called mercury mercury is a chemical or we can say liquid which or we can say metal which when it increases its temperature then it very rapidly it grows in size okay it grows in size and when the temperature lowered down it gets smaller in size so with that mercury is filled into that bulb and then it goes up when you touch the bulb and when an object touches that is hot now let's see another type of thermometer so this clinical thermometer is all for humans and you can uh, and you if you cannot worry because if your you check your temperature is not 37 degrees uh, th 7 degrees celsius exactly it can vary from person to person just we take it because all all hale and hearty persons or you can say healthy persons of this around this kind of temperature so we say we take 37 degrees as a normal human body temperature and as I've already told you, the thermometer is only for human body use. Now comes our digital thermometer. Now you can see that now there are some disadvantages with the that thermometer, clinical thermometer. Because it has mercury which is inside it which grows, I have told you, shiny like thread. But that is very toxic and it cannot be disposed easily when uh, broken out or or thrown in your house so we should that kind of thermometer is not recommended and also it has some you may see it in wrong posture and you or wrong way you may see another another degree temperature or you may keep it in you may keep it in a cold place by mistake and it will change the thumb it, its value so that to avoid this we have the th this clinical this digital thermometers you can see this amazing animation so it does not use mercury the first advantage and the second advantage you don't have to see the reading it just shows you the readings as well as the points so it is as easy to use as stylus is looks so let's learn more about so now we'll see laboratory thermometers. So laboratory thermometers have a range from minus 10 degrees to positive 110 degrees and we can measure any object with the temperature through this uh, 
clinical thermo no sorry laboratory thermometer it's a long yellow yellow like yellow color tube which is transparent little translucent you can say with a red bulb at the center at the end which contains mercury so what happened this as it has a very big range it's not that suitable for using human body it's usually used in laboratories and experiments you need to measure such high temperature range so here you can see this and here's the mercury and according to temperature it grows up to here it's quite big and mercury is same as the clinical thermometer is here silver colored okay now precautions first same like this it should not be banged and it should would be washed and also while absorbing the reading so now what happens in a clinical thermometer there was a kink what to say kink you can say us because that mercury becomes a solid on heating it becomes so it not because it can fall also it's liquid like thing liquid is solid so that kink is there which at the end which does not allow that liquid to come back so you can observe it but that's not the case of laboratory thermometers and laboratory thermometers what happens that there is no kink so when you have to check the temperature of ice then it should be surrounded that thermometer should be surrounded by the ice and in you have to see from like you have to dip it and you have to see like this because if you will take it out instantly without any kink it will show the temperature of the air around you or the temperature around you so you have to observe there only and the object should be covered on the four sides by that object which you have to measure not only one ice will touch it and it will not do it has to surrounded by all the some ices ice cubes and it should be kept vertical you should not tilt it like and you should not give jogs just keep it vertical dip it check it and then keep it uh, aside so at the same time as you know bulb should not be touched because it can change the temperature maximum minimum th thermometer so this kind of thermometers are reported by the reports which report which for example it's kept there and it reports when throughout the date or month it reports when did it suppose for example there are two kind of tubes here okay and then for example when there is lot of heat there a lot of heat and maximum so when it grows here it grows a little and then more heat comes than it this one grows also grows a little and and at the end it stops at the same time when it is colder the it goes lesser if there is more cold it goes more less and when it's no more cold it just stops there and it, it at the maximum it stops so what you get the result it shows that the minimum temperature at that time throughout that time period or throughout that month and the maximum temperature throughout that time so you can see the min where the temperature which go when the temperature was minimum and how much temperature was the maximum of the time period you can see this gif and this gif you can see here it shows the maximum and minimum okay and don't we before moving on please like share subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon segment below to get trigger updates of my videos this was all in this video bye bye stay curious